new potential danger at the beach this summer. We've heard so much about shark encounters, but now the Portuguese man of war is showing up in increasing numbers. Their sting is incredibly painful and can even be deadly. ABC's Philip Minna is in Brighton Beach, New York with that for us. Good morning, Philip. Robin, good morning. Shark attacks have been in the headlines all summer, but now there's a new threat in the water, a floating terror that can be deadly. In record numbers, they're washing up on eastern shores, stinging unsuspecting swimmers with their venomous tentacles. Felt like a thousand bees stinging me at once. It's called the Portuguese man o war, and it's something seven-year-old Michael Shantz and his mother won't soon forget. He was just screaming, screaming, a lot of pain. Over the past three weeks, more than 30 of these jellyfish-like creatures reportedly spotted on beaches from Delaware to New York. At least three children reportedly stung off Long Island shores just this week. Close encounters turning painful after many beachgoers mistake them for plastic bags. Nicknamed floating death, they typically float on the surface. Their tentacles can grow up to 30 feet long, and their stingers can pack a punch even more painful than your average jellyfish. In rare cases, causing dangerous allergic reactions and even death. They can really hurt and probably kill a kid. You can put them into anaphylactic shock. Warm ocean currents and strong winds seem to be pushing these tropical water dwellers closer to eastern beaches in record numbers. But experts warn to stay away, even if they're not moving. If they're on the beach, tell the lifeguard, don't touch. They can sting even when they're dead. If you are stung, experts say use a towel to remove the stinger and use seawater to rinse it off, but do not rub it. And if you start to feel sick, get medical help immediately.